Hey guys, it's me, Game Master of Fanana here with a new video for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Welcome to episode 8. Sadly, Nia's no longer in our party. Yep, sadly. But we were running away from the cops essentially, and uh we were saved by a Napon named Tora, so we're gonna go meet him. The boy and his blade, who seemed to be working with them, got away. But we apprehended the girl from the wanted poster along with her blade. The town is once again safe or... Say, Padre, do you remember what my orders were? Sir? I told you to capture the blade with the Emerald Core Crystal, did I not? Do you recall me ever telling you to capture some little girl with barely a bounty on her head? But, sir, she's a member of Torna. I'll say it slowly for you, just so we're clear. Get the blade with the emerald. Um, Consul Dougal, sir. What? I'm not exactly sure what color emerald is supposed to be. Oh, give me strength! It's green, you idiot! Emerald is green! Like this! Green! Get it, you clod? Oh, green! I get it now. So, emeralds are green. You dunderhead! How many blades do you see with green core crystals? It's patently obvious! How do you mix that blade up with some worthless cat monster? Actually, sir, technically I believe that's a tiger rather than a... Science! Ah. Consul! What is it? Haven't you heard of knocking? My apologies, sir. It's just that Lady Morag has... What? Special Inquisitor Morag has just arrived from the Motherland. Already? Her ship has just docked. Look, this... this cannot be happening! You live down here. This just back door. Front entrance over there. Makes sense. Whoa! Is that the cloud sea down there? We're so high up. Nice view, eh? Tora likes to just sit and watch cloud sea sometimes. You have a wonderful home. <laughs> anyway, um, Rex Rex. Rex Rex? Rex Rex, Tora explained other reason I help you. You see, Tora always wanted to make driver friends. Ah, interested in drivers, are you? But of course. Tora think it's amazing how Driver and Blade join spirits together to make big power. Tora really want to be sidekick of Rex Rex. Um, you know my name is just Rex, right? One Rex, not two. What is point? Well, nothing, I guess. It just sounds a bit different from what I'm used to. Double name just show Taurus respect. Respect for great driver. Rex Rex should be proud. I'm not sure I've earned all that yet. Oh, all right. 
You can call me Rex Rex if it makes you happy. But instead of all this sidekick stuff, can't we just be friends? Really? Tora will be friend of Rex Rex? Hooray! <laughs> what a funny little guy. Hey, Tora, do you know much about this town? Huh? You wouldn't happen to know where the army takes prisoners, would you? Rex, you're not planning to. We have to save Nier and Dromark. I thought you'd say that. Oh! You talk about Driver and Blade who were with Rex Rex before Tora's daring rescue! Yeah. Meh meh. Tora would have to ask around town for info like that. Mm. Before we do anything, time for food! All of today's running around make Tora hungry. Need food to help Rex Rex. I'm a little peckish too. Can't we eat later? I want to find Nier and Dromok as soon as possible. <laughs> Stomach of Rex Rex tell different story. I... I can't help it, can I? Um... If it's all right with everyone, I could cook something. Pyra? I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, as long as fire is involved, I can do almost anything. Fry, steam, grill, you name it. Whoa! If you want ice cream, though, you might have to find someone else. Well, you can't have everything. Okay, that was that was a great cutscene. Dora, do you have any ingredients I could work with? Uh, just what in the pantry there? Not much, really. Tora, sorry. It doesn't seem wise to go out and buy more supplies, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Let's see what we've got then. Critter buds, sumpkins. Oh, and here's an oil oyster and a single meaty carrot. Don't worry, we have like hundreds of those. And hot oranges too. These aren't bad ingredients at all. All foods that can be eaten with no cooking, that's how Tora usually eat. That's a bit depressing. We aren't much better ourselves, you know. I guess you're right. So, what do you think, Pyra? Can you make anything with this? Yes, I think this should be enough. I'll just use the kitchen, okay? Okay, we obtained items. That way we can finish them for quest. I don't understand why we need that. And then we got a landmark for house. Oops. Okay then. I wanted to look around first. Ah, dang it. I wanted to steal stuff from his house. Someone is gonna block me from doing that here as well. Oh no. This is this is a okay. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Okay then. Um so we don't have Okay, so at cooking stations you can make your own food. That's neat. So let's uh, make our own food. Glitter bake. Oh man, this is delicious. Oh, yum, yummy. So super, very tasty. Simply exquisite. I haven't eaten this well in 120 years. Glad you liked it. It seems like I did okay. I was worried I'd have gotten a little rusty over the years. It didn't taste rusty at all. Uh, um, I mean... But Tora is curious. Pyra is fire-using blade, yes? When Tora broke that water pipe, Pyra could still make fire. Come to think of it, you're right. That Bridget, the Imperial Blade, she used fire abilities just like Pyra, but the water seemed to douse much of her strength. So, what are you saying? This world full of elemental energy. 
energy called ether, yes? Ether comes in forms like fire, water, and wind. While battling, drivers and blades both draw power from ether. But fire not good with water. Other blade woman got splooshy with water, so fire power's all dumb. But Pyra and I were able to use our powers with no problem. Indeed. They were unaffected. Why? Um, well, my powers don't come from fire. Meh meh? If power's not fire, why look like flames? That may be a little complicated to explain. Go on then. Tora like complicated things a lot. <sighs> well, um, uh, uh, it. Knock it off, Tora. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Eh. Everyone has things they'd rather not talk about. Right? I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you about it soon enough. Don't worry about it. Right now, we need to think about how to rescue Nia. First, we go around town and find all information we can. Hmm. Yes, I dare say that we're all wanted criminals by this point. Pyra sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, friends. Tora has an idea. Special Inquisitor Morag! To what do we owe this extreme pleasure? Had we but heard of your grace's visit, we could have prepared a suitable... I don't stand on ceremony, Consul. I'd rather you just did your job. Y your grace? Someone of your standing deserves to be treated as such. You are his majesty's representative. Please permit us to lay on a meal befitting your grace. Until then, we would be honored if... You made impressive time. I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh Lady Bridget! If we have found the Aegis, then there is no time to waste. But I fear the passage has taken its toll on our engines. The Aegis? H how do you...? Is there a problem, Dougal? N uh, not at all, Your Grace. Good. Now, you've captured a driver from Torna. I am going to speak with her. What? Uh, why do you want...? Dougal. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Y yes Your Grace! I'll take you to her right away! So, you are the Torna Ruffian. I must say you look a little different from your poster. A little different. Whoever drew that should be the one in jail. <laughs> yes, I would be angry too. You can drop the friendly act. You won't name your friends? My friends? I'm not so sure I'd call those trigger happy Torna goons friends. I see. I think we have our wires crossed here. I am not talking about Torna. Huh? You're not? No. I was referring to your more recent traveling companions. The driver boy and his blade. Rex and Pyra. Well, that was easy. Damn it! This looks like it could actually work. Good idea, Tora. Right, let's look for friends of Rex Rex. The race to find Nia. 
Finally, let's steal from his home. Come out. Okay, roots. Possibly mushroom? What is this? Is this a game cabinet? We gotta play that later. Last front entrance. I wanna go back. I think I skipped a few things. Maybe there's like a secret point. Nope. Oh. Okay, now what I noticed with the cutscenes that I think is really bad given that it's all using models from the in-game engine is the lighting. Have you heard anything about a girl called Mia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Uh, some Ardanian dude was saying uh, they were going to execute the prisoner within the next few days. Those Tornik guys are pretty bad, right? I heard they killed loads of drivers to steal their core crystals. Pretty amazing if the Empire have really captured one of them. The Empire is so cool. I wonder what they'll do at this execution thing anyways. I've never seen one before. I gotta go see for myself. You guys should come along too. Thanks so much. I love how that's an item. Congratulations, you got knowledge. Put it in your pouch. Okay. Okay, uh, Morka. Can't believe Big Bro is a driver now. That means he has to go to more hard aid, right? It's gonna be lonely without him, but I'll be fine. I gave him tons of advice before he left, and Pyro stopped messing with the power. You're gonna burn down this wooded village. Like to make sure he stays close to his blade when he fights. He needs to do that because uh, that's how you deepen your affinity with your blade. And when your affinity deepens, you get stronger, and so does your blade. You'll you do well to remember that too. Really? I thought you were talking to them. You're you do not look like you're talking to us. Okay, uh, uh, Neil. My big bro came, became a driver and went off to Morardain. Wow, pretty impressive. He said he's gonna earn bucket loads of cash. If only Da had to stay here with us. I've got a big brother called Jack, and he became a driver. And guess what? He got into the Ardanian army. Um, what weapons did his blade have? If it was a great act or a lance, he could smack the bad guys super easily. It's too dangerous, but it's dangerous too, because if you deal that much damage all at once, they'll get angry at you. If it was a bit ball, uh, he, he'd be able to heal injured teammates. Bit balls are good at doing that. If he's got teammates with a shield hammer or a chroma katana, uh, though, he needs to pay attention to their HP. See, I know stuff, that's because me and Jack studied together. I don't want to jump over there. Yeah, the lighting, the lighting's not the best. You can cut scenes in Oh god, I just looked at the map. That is a lot of quest markers. Um, oh. Oh. <sighs> None of them point down, so. Boat. Can't jump onto the boat. Dang it. I want to take the boat. Let's go. What's in here? More speaks. Let's talk to Izzy. So, uh, you know, there's dead sparkly spots uh, when you're walking around outside. Uh, that's the. That's where my favorite bugs are. Well, sometimes you can catch fish or pick veggies from them as well. Oh, and also, if you have a blade who knows their stuff, you can get a lot more than you normally do. I guess it's because they're showing you how to properly do it. I want to make 
friends with Blaze who knows a lot of about bugs and stuff, so I can go bug hunting. Okay, this isn't helping find Nia at all. This is this is actually very terrifying. Uh, in my opinion. Actually, because it's so low, I think I could actually drop down. I mean, so high, I think I could drop down and be fine. I'm not going to test that, but yeah, it seems like it would work. Would it go on to this beam? Uh, possibly fall off because I'm bad at control. Anything over here? Really, a secret. Okay. It's weird how there's like dive. No, there's not diving platforms. Those are boat docks. Try it. This is this isn't Skyward Sword. They're they're not diving platforms. Okay. Um, it's weird. Uh, marker thing is weird. Okay, that's how we know it's information. Uh, have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured uh, by the Ardanians recently? Ah, sorry, I'm only uh, really interested in plants. I don't keep up with the latest rumors. I want to become a botanist and more Ardane, but my parents keep saying it's too dangerous. It's been a whole decade now since more Ardane and Uriya ceased hostilities. And sure, there's been this nasty group called Torna popping up in the news lately, but still, it's not like anything bad's gonna happen where more Ardane's in charge. Doesn't this peaceful town prove that? This, this seems a bit far. Oh! Hold on, where were we? We were all the way back there. So the village is like right over there. Huh. I'm actually wondering. Is this raising? Nope, not really. But I'm still gonna die to everyone. Shadoto. Shadoto make big mistake coming to Korma. Something wrong? Shadoto come from Argentum to do business in Gorma. But selling goods in this city only earn tiny profits. Times like this, Shototo will remember what Mama Pond says a lot. Always thinking about supplies and demands. Products of Shototo not attractive to more gourmet and more ordained peoples here in Toriko. But Shototo not have money to go back to Argento. Aw, oh, that sucks. I wish I could give him money. I have tons. Let's go to Lidelo. <laughs> Little. Oh, fair Gormak. Many are thy charms. Sunlight like a mother's sweet caress. Branches stronger than a father's arm. Oh, my apologies. I was merely expressing my love for the natural beauty of Gormak through poetry. Ah, pretty impressive. I wish only that the children in the city would weave beautiful verses about their homeland also. But alas, it seems that. It seems they are all more concerned with enjoying the present moments than pursuing the literary arts. Yeah, that's called, uh, being a kid. Uh, over here. I like how you can do that. Hear the pitter patter of your feet. The wooden, uh, walkways. Nope, that's like a hundred meters away. Um, wow, this place is huge. This place is huge. So these are Dane. Yeah, I think these are our Dane soldiers. Um, there's the person I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to that 50 something on the side. Ooh, salvage spot. I'm going to do the salvage spot. 
Let's use silver cylinder. Time for some treasure hunting. Ta! Onwards. Okay, I uh, pressed B for the first one. I need to pay attention more. <laughs> oh, I demand a do-over. Okay, bring it. Okay, um, you want to die? Okay, it's your wish. I'm not gonna stray you from your ah. wish, of course. I'm Our shot. emotions are in ah. tune, Rex. I like your attitude. Why not? Yeah. Rush down. Double spinning edge. Thing, uh, seems to yeah. not be paying much attention, so I could just move to the side of it. I like your attitude. Oh no, yeah. you don't. Thanks for that. My Make a shot. Smash this. Shield. Go for it. Let's do this. There we go. Why not? Around a redo, let's do a redo. Time for some treasure hunting. Huh. Onwards. There we go. Miss the first one, I think. This looks like it'll be something good. Woo! Treasure trove. If they seek a fight, they shall get one. Go. Ha! Ha! Ga! Ga! Rush down! Anchor shot! Ha! Okay. Oh, fuck. Double speed house. Our emotions are in tune, Rex. Have you considered taking the lead sometime, Fyra? I'll think about it next time, Bazerta. You're all mine. It's weird how um, uh, attacking these lower-leveled enemies takes longer than uh, back back in uh, back in Gormod's back actually. It's actually in his back. Huh. Moi, have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who's oh, okay? Uh, yeah, I heard something interesting. Apparently the Torna member that the Ardini Empire captured was some Gramati girl named Nia. Yeah, um, I, I just asked you if you knew if Nia was captured. That name seems familiar. Uh, somehow, didn't the old Lord of Hetchel uh, a decade or so ago have... Actually, let's not talk about that. It's not a happy thing to think about. Thank you so much. The name of the Tornin. It's not like we had that information already. See, Chief's residence. Oh, God. That, that notification just made me realize I can find more. Pretty went that way. Hey, everything's behind me, probably. Crow! And arrived! <laughs> All in one piece! Did you know there are special enemies called unique monsters? They're supposed to be absurdly powerful, far stronger than your average monster. In a big fight with one of them, unprepared, it'll, it'll be curtains for you. I've heard some grisly tales. Ah, uh, let me thought. <sighs> don't know what Shudder is. Uh, don't you go charging in without knowing what you're getting yourself into first. Do you hear? Roger! Okay, um... Just realized my minimap wasn't on. Don't really use it anyways. <sighs> Moved my family here from Moradain because I heard it was a really safe place to live. Fight between those Torna terrorists and Moradain's finest blade is not exact is exactly not what I signed up for. 
I just want my wife and daughter to have a peaceful life, but at this rate, it seems this isn't it. It's not good. I hope all this gets sorted out sooner rather than later. It feels like the whole city's on edge. We oh. really have to think about the other characters in this. Come out, come out! Only two? Really? That sucks. Alright, uh, nothing else. Bear. Stairs. You're yeah. all mine. Okay, um. Yeah, not fine. Ooh, quest! Oh! Uh, why if this isn't the driver? Just who I was hoping to see. Is something wrong? Well, you see, I got loads of fruit now, thanks to this uh, bumper harvest. I was just thinking I'd use it to make my f famous fruit pie. Everyone gets a slice. I don't mean to brag, but everyone who tries my pie says it's something special. Yes, ask anyone. Try to spy the tastiest in all of Torgoth. My husband nearly bursts his breeches stuffing himself when I make it. It was because of my pies that he wanted to marry me, he said. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little bit carried away blowing my own trumpet there. So, the problem is, I'm actually a bit short of some of the things I need for my pie. The traders around here are hopeless for ingredients, so I was hoping some kind person would get them for me. Rex, shall we get to work on this all right, right away? With you by my side, Pyra, I'm up to any challenge. That's very kind of you. Uh, could you get me a nice bit of hustle hyacinth and some mint? Let me let me clarify. Mint fish. Mint fish. That's that's odd. Uh, it's stop, pirate. Stop trying to burn down this village. Okay. It's not. It's just not the same without those special ingredients. Okay, so fruit pie needs mint fish. I'm gonna set that as active quest because I kind of want to just uh, explore for a bit and also finish the, the main quest. This portion of it at huh. least. Okay. What's over here? Is this a new area, I think? I hope. I remember that ship being there. Hope this is new area so I don't look dumb. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, I can't wait. Huh. Okay, X's are added into this, and I missed B. Dang it. I'm back. Miss me? Ha! Where does... Oh, God. Where does Rex get the red part? They seek a fight. Whoa, I didn't see that. I didn't see that guy. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Yeah! I'm losing focus, Rex? Don't Eagle give up on me! Ha! Anchor shot! Ha! Two. Double spinning. Mm. Explosions are in tune, Rex. I like your attitude. Okay. Uh, wait, I think I got something for the fresh You're fruity all thing. mine. Oh, that's a lot. Um. Oh, that's a lot of items, actually. You're all mine. Let's. That. Pressing X is my instinct. Uh. Pokemon, why have you ruined me? Let's check affinity. Nope. Nothing there. So, we just got some more accessories. So, it's, uh, ah, it's, those things are stuck with Nia. Uh, no, uh, Abyss Fest seems very good. Okay, uh, Kusa's audio attack. 
Shell cameo. And is it? Is it? Oh, there's a better muscle belt. Yep, that's a better muscle belt. What's an, what's an attack stone? Uh, nah. I'll just keep the muscle belt because I'm a simple person. And let's uh, upgrade something. Learn this skill. Okay, increases agility. And then we have access to this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, uh, that's going to be a lot of uh, waiting for that. Uh, and then nothing else, I think. Can I finally? Nope. It's probably going to be a tutorial. Okay, uh, let's look around. So, not a new location, but I did get to dive. I like how I'm walking in a straight line and Pyra's having to jump over stuff. Okay. gonna be like this for a while this is gonna be very distracting because I'm not even paying attention to my character I'm just following the blips on the map What's that here? oh is that uh, Torgon? let's check the map okay where are we We are here, and this is Tor. Oh wait, no, this is Torgoth. This is, wait, no, this is all is Torgoth. This is uh, normal stuff. Wait, what? Confused. Where am I going? I'm very confused. Okay, um, I have no idea where I'm going. This is good to know. Uh, Clume Farm. Nugby! After something, this is Torgoth's number one farm. All the Gormati folk working here at Clume Farm are my own family. Uh, we've been supporting the farming industry in Torgoth for generations. Uh, a heck of a lot of generations. Since you're here, why don't you, why don't you take a few of our vegetables as a souvenir? Thanks! Um, okay, I'm just gonna walk right through your what fields and steal your vegetables because you didn't hand them to me. Ah, oh, sweet, they're growing meaty carrots. Huh. Meaty carrot. Come out, come out. Moonbean banana in a hot orange patch. Okay, that does not. Whoa! This is. Arrived. Forgot. <laughs> base. All in one piece. Oh, there's levels over the people. Oh no. It's a new day, everyone. Good morning. Rise and shine. Up. Okay. Uh, safe to say, I think that's where uh, they're holding Nia. Ooh, jump. Up. What have we here? Okay, some rares. Okay. Uh, we're on. Okay. Uh, neat. Nothing here. Expect this to be oh. more. Hey, this is uh. Visible. I'm. I have a fear of oceans in video games because I could just get lost in them. Because 
just just think about how big the world has been so far and how much I could just be spending just in gar in Garanti Plain. That that kind of thought just makes me think that this game is gonna take forever to beat. Half-born recently. Take a look, isn't he adorable? The only thing is, I like, usually when these babies give birth, uh, it's to a bunch of calves at once. But for some reason, this one was only was an only child. But I feel like I've got to take extra good care of it. Yeah, let's see. Hey, you're drivers, right? Yeah. But, uh, if you got time to spare, would you like to help me look after the calf? Uh, you don't have to do much. Just uh, give him a feed every once in a while. Really have a reward to offer, but looking after an animal might make a real nice change from battling for you. Oh, that's cool. Make sure we get to work. Okay, um, I can attack it, which is sad. I can just, I can just go and kill it. Can I feed it? How do I feed it? Blue plant, but it's not a collection. Huh. Treasure. You're all mine. Oh, oh. got the monies. Yes. Okay, um. Let's look at uh, skip travel. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh. So. Oh, that's cool. It's showing us uh, places we can't go. Yay. Okay, so we're, we're right here. No, this is this is actually. Tor now let's go to Torgoth. Go to Torgoth Ark. We're here. So, shall we? Okay, um. Let's. Oh, we're not on the board. Um. So. Huh. We should be fine. Rex, Rex, no, they're recruiting uh, over there for new drivers. Yeah, I saw that earlier when we were when we first arrived in the city. Rex, Rex should try too. Chance of success, basically 100%. I'm wanted by the Ardanian Empire right now. Remember, it seems like a bad idea to make myself conspicuous. Rex, Rex to make good point. Dora was just too curious to see what kind of blade Rex Rex awaken. At any rate, I don't need to go awaken blade, do I? I've already got Pyra. Come on, come now. Re Rex, don't tell me you thought drivers could only bond with a single blade. What? Is that not right? Not at all. Many drivers have more than one. With Nia gone, we're a bit short on numbers right now. Might not hold up all that well in a fight. Perhaps if it would uh, actually be a good idea to get yourself a new blade. New blade opens up new possibilities in battle, after all. Hmm. It would stop you from putting so much strain on Pyra as well. Seems like a good thing all around, if you ask me. If Pyra doesn't mind, I guess I couldn't hurt to try. I don't have any objections. The more the merrier. And it's settled. The question is, where are we going to get ourselves a core crystal? Now, that's one question I can answer. Can? 
I happen to have one stored away for just a, such an occasion. Where Gramps hide core crystal with such small body? The key to awakening a new. <laughs> he just he just uh disregards Tora. The key to awakening a new blade is to foster a powerful resonance with the driver's spirit. Focus your whole mind on the core crystal as you touch it, and try to hold a clear picture in your mind of the blade you wish to awaken. I'm not sure I really understand, but I'll give it a try. I hope you awaken a wonderful blade. Unnamed core crystal. Resonate with this core crystal? Yes! Ushio. <laughs> it's it's giving us essentially the same weapon that Nia had, so that we can just keep the same uh, attack fighting style. So that's that's cool, I guess. Rex's ability to resonate with core crystals has been unlocked. You can bond with a blade at any time by going to main menu blades, bond blade. Core crystals aren't of much use uh, just lying around, so we can't hurt to resonate with them and see what you get. Also, the higher driver's luck stat value, the better their chances of awakening certain very special blades. Once you have yourself a new blade, you'll need to engage it so that it can take part in battle. Add blades to your party in main menu, characters, character setup, and engage blades. Up until now, Rex had, has had re to rely on Pyro alone for support in battle. But now you'll be able to engage a variety of other blades and expand your support options. To take advantage of different blades in battle, press the directional button corresponding to each blade's face icon and perform a blade switch. In no time at all, the blade who was previously supporting you will retreat and the new blade will take their place on the battlefield. Of course, switching blades will change both your weapon and your available arts. Different weapons have have different benefits and drawbacks in battle, so use blade switches tactically after considering the current situation. That looks like a good one. Meh meh. Fur always stand on end whenever Taurus see Driver resonate with Crystal. So cool. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel weird. Well, looks, looks like we've got a new recruit anyway. Let's go and find out what happened to Nia. Rex, not so fast. Eh, what's up? Aren't you going to uh, kit your new blade out? You can tune up the weapon with a core chip from that smithy there. If Rex Rex never used core chips before, then now very good time to start. You can really tell the difference between a driver who uses core chips and one who doesn't. I'm starting to understand. Now for the main topic. That over there is an ox core shop. Uh, I don't suppose you had a lot of call to go in there before you became a driver. You're right about that. I used to wonder what all that strange gear was for though. Perhaps we should head over and give it a try then. Ox cores are just a thing for su supplementing a blade's power. There are all different types. Uh, some boost defense. Some make strong against. Some make strong against insects, or stronger at nighttime. Meh. The 
the number of ox cores you can equip varies from blade to blade mine. Interesting stuff. Now this is the important part, so listen up. Usually when you get an ox core, it's an empty it's in an empty state, so you won't uh, boost your blade with it empty. So how do you fix that then? Huh, I see. So this gizmo here makes ox cores usable. You catch on fast. That's right. This machine takes collectibles and raw ox cores and refines them into something useful. Here's one you can have a go with. I've been saving it up for this very occasion. You've had crystal and a core. For no reason. Oh, okay. Expects best not to think about where he stashed it. Yes, Toro's right about that. It's not much good with our collectibles, though. Here. Uh, Deerwood. Meh. He really has a lot of stashed away there. <laughs> uh, you're good to go, right? To refine it. Got it. And as soon as we're done, uh, let's go and look for some info about Nia. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. I have to put a meaty carrot in there. It it just feels wrong not. What did he give us? He gave us gear wood. Rary dragonfly. Snow ring. And a uh, four stone. Actually, puzzle tree wood. Yeah. Uh, this is critical here, right? Now. Okay. Wait. Can I add? Nope. Can't add anymore. Okay. I find this ox skull. Firm. Oh, that literally did nothing. Different. Since you're standing in front of an ox core shop, let's revisit the topic of ox cores for a moment. At shops like these, you can get your ox cores refined. You know what? I'm gonna end this off here. We are way over time. I lost track of time. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching episode 8 of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. See you next.